Yeah, man. Technology is moving, boy. Hmm. So let me get this straight. So you can connect a 50, 50 90 to your to your gaming laptop now. Hmm. Or to or to your uh, to your handheld. Huh? <laughs> Listen to this. Oh, by the way, hello viewers. Another beautiful deck. Hope your five senses work out. The strength is good or excellent. Yeah. Listen to this. Run, run an RTX 5090 gaming uh, GPU on nearly any laptop or handheld thanks to ASUS. <laughs> Man, if I'm hoping that valve for the Oculink port on the um on the Steam Deck too, man, for external GPU support. <laughs> I'm hoping they do. Please do. <laughs> it says here, uh, ASUS has updated its XG Mobile eGPU to the RTX 5090, and it's also made some major changes to the gaming hardware. Mm. It says, uh, gaming gaming uh, hardware to make it much more open. Mm. It says here, CES jam-packed with announcement, and ASUS has brought the Thunder with fresh of nearly everything under its gaming brand. That includes the world first with an update to its ROG XG Mobile external GPU card. It receives a major bump in specs now coming with a mobile uh, NVIDIA RTX 5090. The XG Mobile line has been around since 2021 and provides a means of equipping your laptop or PC gaming handheld such as the ROG Ally. Uh, with a powerful GPU without the new without the need to fit the new uh, GPU inside your device instead if it use a cable to connect to your device and provide this GPU whoops what did I just do oh yeah okay provide this GPU uh, power externally it says here originally equipped with a laptop grade RTX 3080 a SUS update the product in 2023 equipped Equipping it with an external RTX 4090. However, both these versions of the XG Mobile uh, required an XG connector. This proprietary connector fuses PCIe and USB into one. While it's work well, few devices had one. On the ROG Ally, it's the large black connector on top of the device. Then it says, uh, 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 so so merge so so uh, merge merger was the so meager uh, meager meager so meager was the connector support that when the Ally X launched in 2024 it didn't it didn't even come with the connector instead it opted for two USB four ports and then it says all of which brings us to the new XG Mobile 2025 which jumps to the mighty power of a laptop RTX 4090 and sees ASUS change to using Thunderbolt 5 connector. These connectors use the same physical port as a USB-C but use a slightly different con communication protocol that allows for a few more functions. Crucially, uh, though the port is backwards compatible with Thunderbolt 4 and side uh, compatible with USB 4 device, opening it up massively to be used with a wide range of laptops. And then it says, uh, uh, handheld and more. It should be noted, uh, straightforward though, that you will need a fast version of the connector to get anywhere in near peak performance out of a RTX 5090. External GPUs of the past have notoriously been underwhelming due to the bandwidth in limitation of using an external connection and the same could be happen here you'll also need your uh, device to have a decent fast CPU to gain CPU to again ensure it's not a major bottleneck for the GPU performance as to performance the 5090 is one of the newly announced RTX 5090 laptop chips which although not as powerful as the full flat desktop RTX 5090 it's still a mighty capable chip. It's housed a 10,496 CUDA cores, which is a small increase on the 9,728 CUDA cores of the RTX 4090. But you're getting the latest high speed GDDR7 video RAM, 24 gigs of it, and the various architecture improvement that comes with the RTX 4090 Blackwell architecture, 
such as DLSS4 support, <laughs> it says, perhaps cru crucially for many potential buyers, the XB Mobile won't only comes in the, an RTX version. ASUS is planning two cheaper version with a 57 Ti model also on the way. And it says ASUS isn't just stopping at packing the XGE GPU with the latest graphics though. It supports DisplayPort 2.1 and HDMI 2.1 for high refresh rate monitor as well as act as act like a USB hub passing through all the data to your mobile device via one cable. There are two USB 3.2 Gen 2 Type A ports, a 5 gigabit Ethernet port, and SSD card reader. One of the lower key's best feature is that ASUS have managed to avoid massive underwhelming uh, power brick this time around. In inside is a 350 watt uh, power supply, making it much more portable. And it says, of course, as with many new hardware announcements from CES, there's no precise release date yes however we do have the pricing the xg mobile price set at 21 2199 and 99 cents that's, so that's two thousand one hundred and ninety nine dollars ninety nine cents for the 5090 version and the asus xg mobile 5070 ti priced at one thousand one hundred and ninety nine ninety nine cents so that's so basically that's like twelve hundred dollars tops it says here CES has brought tons of announcements that we finally have the full rundown of the RTX. Look, <laughs> CES is packing, man, and wow, ASUS came out came out with this. So now, based on the picture that I'm looking at right now, you can use the XGPU, the eGPU to connect to the what's that? The MSI MSI Claw, hmm? the MSI Claw or any handheld, you know, that that has the um, that 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 has the that has a, a connect a connection to run these um uh run the run run the external GPU. I mean, it, it'll work for laptop and desktop fine, but now but with handhelds now, yeah, yeah, man, CES, man, like it says, it's jam packed. So ASUS is just. This is gonna come out with the XG Mobile. Um, so you're talking about um, if you if you use a con cable to connect your device and provide its GPU processing pro externally, but now this thing it, this comes with a power brick too. So so um, you know uh, this uses a uh, it's kind of like what the Rog Ally was was doing, but it's even better now. Yeah, video technology, man. Mm -hmm. You wanna in, you wanna enjoy the latest toys? Gotta have some money saved for this stuff. I mean, um, I mean, this is compatible with uh, Thunder Thunderbolt Four, uh, uh, and compatible with uh, USB Four devices. Yeah, uh, comes with a Thunderbolt Five connector. I mean. Then you can run like a RTX 5090, like a scaled down version. Yeah. What else? Uh, this uh, um, this has 10,496 CUDA cores. <laughs> yeah, man. These new graphics cards are packing some packing some punch, man. Hmm. And um, it's, um, D D supports DLSS DLSS support uh, DLSS uh, four support. Yeah. <laughs> Video games, folks. <clears throat> Keeping up with the, the, trying to get the best out of your um, your laptop with an external GPU and then your portable uh, hand portable PC handheld with external uh, with the external GPU support. Yeah. So you should you should have no problems now running running uh, some of the latest some of the, um, the latest games that are out in, out now. <laughs> yeah. Uh, let's see. Uh, this has uh, two USB type uh, type two USB 3.2 Gen 2 Type A port, five gigabits Ethernet port, and an SSD card slot reader. <laughs> yeah, but look at this picture because I'm looking at this as like has some ports on the back, power connector like your desktop connector. 
Yeah. Uh, display port supports 2.1 HDMI. Yep. These. This look. This this exter external GPU man. Hmm. Ever since they started doing this, it's it's been beneficial. But now they they just have improved it, made it much more better. And then you're talking about 350 watt power supply inside. So. Yeah. That mean you got to. That mean you got to get a search for. That mean you got to get a search protector for this thing. <laughs> yeah, you can't just run it straight from the wall, you know. Yeah, gotta get a surge protector. Huh? Price at twenty one ninety nine, eleven ninety nine. I mean, for the fifty ninety version, and then for the TI version, the twenty uh, fifty ninety is a twenty one ninety nine, and uh, and for the uh, for the the T the fifty seventy is a uh, eleven ninety nine. Hmm. Yeah, man. That's why I always tell people to save their money, man. When it comes to these, uh, I always tell people to save your money when it comes to these handhelds, man. <laughs> when it comes to these, uh, these handhelds and the uh, the things that you have to get, you know. Yeah, gotta save your money, man. So let's say you're waiting waiting on the uh, Steam Deck uh, too. Hmm. Yeah, put your money together, man, so you can get all these uh these devices to connect to it. Oh yeah. Save your money. <laughs> you heard me say this before, man. You just, you just got to. No, <clears throat> you just got to. If you don't, if you don't save it, you don't have it. <laughs> yeah, so gotta save your money, man. Save your money. Man, Let's see, extra. What else is? What is this thing coming? What is? What else this thing coming with? Hmm. That is, that is that. Anyway, I'm going to leave this video. Uh, oh, by the way, this thing even comes with 24 gigs. Comes with GDR7, GDDR7 RAM. 24 gigs of it. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, I'm going to leave this video for y'all to enjoy them. Nice talking to you people again. Chris, still Star Wars and Star Trek playing. Bored, dark side. Go. Peace.